Welcome back to another episode of, you guessed it, FTP Skies, where right behind me we are still chewing through some cakes. And, well, honestly it hasn't been very long, but we are producing uh, more cakes than we are using. But we're also not spreading our mana as quickly as we could be. So, uh, I thought maybe it was Gaia, but no, Elvin. We want Elvin. Which, if I can, there we go. It's just living wood through drink, uh, through the gate. So, let's go ahead. Uh, we need what? Uh, 18 of these? There we go. And can I... Can I make it now? Or do I need to wait until I have more petals? Where is it? <laughs> Mana spreader? Hello? There we go. Oh, I need the elementium ingots. Right. Uh, I do have some mana steel. Um, let's go ahead and toss these in. And that should be what I need here. Where? If it's the most common thing, why isn't it... Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Bollocks. Alright, flower. Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I, I can do that easily. Alright, let's go ahead place you, you, and you. Going to get a little weird for your moment? Uh, can I just... I can. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. You, you, you. Perfect. You need to go here. You need to go here. You need to go here. Now that should be... It should have been. Oh, it is. It is going. So eventually these should be a lot more optimized. Should be. I wonder if there's a way to optimize. See, this one's fully optimized. Why isn't this one? Oh, because it's taking longer. Oh. I didn't think about that. Hmm. I suppose I could rectify that, actually. Let's go ahead and make another mana pool. And then we want another spark. And we want a spark recessive. So let's go ahead, place this one here. Spark on top, and put, give it a recessive. And then I'm actually going to get rid of you, place it here. Then we're going to have you connect here, you to here, and you to here. And 
and you should be... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> now we're cooking. But it also means that we are using a lot more cake. Hopefully this can keep up. We'll find out. Alright, well, what we want to do this episode, we got that taken care of, that taken care of. Let's get rid of all the runes. I don't much care for them. You're taken care of. Let's take care of a few of these. First off, water. Uh, let's see. I want you to be producing iron. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a pedestal for this. So let's go ahead and get that set up real quick. All right, let's grab a stack of iron, pop it in this pedestal, and it will import it into here. This will turn into a drenched iron, and this is filtered to only take drenched. So we'll let that play out <laughs> and move on to the next. We need our pink slime. Now this guy, uh, let's go ahead, uh, fluid input. Uh, let's do down push. Great. Now, let's go ahead, pick up this boy, put him right on top, and have him fluid full. There we go. Now, what do we need for these pink slimes? We need two gold, two iron. Um, pop down. Oh, also, I'm using a different sword, because I, uh, accidentally threw my other sword into the void. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> two iron, two gold. Pop this up here. Ah, that is not... What? You're kidding. If I lock the input, I can take you into the back, and I can put these here. Yeah? Yes. Great. How many of these did I need? That's not it. Um, 128. Hmm. I have to come back to this. Um, let's also grab a GPS and make sure that at least the pink slime farm is still going. No, run with no redstone signal. Yeah. Where are you getting your power from? Mm. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, it's not getting power. Okay, let's rectify that. So you're full. You're next. Cool. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's actually using... Good, good. Good. 
Good. Alright, moving on. Let's see. This was at 92. Oh, it's down to... Down to 80. Maybe we're gonna need more farmers than... Interesting. I might have to redesign this a little bit, but uh, I'll definitely have enough. Oh, it's going up. Back to 92. Hmm. We'll see. Um, I already blanked just what I was doing. Um, I got the pink slime going. I got the drenched irons. Right. Bees. Let's grab a beehive. And some emeralds. Now that I only have a few. Sure. Um, right, I need you to give me an advanced and then also an expansion box. We're going to need our experience bees, uh, five of them. And what was it? Simulation upgrade? Which means we're going to need an upgrade base. Craft those sticks, please. Boom. Boom. And speed upgrades. Just the one? Let's make a couple more, shall we? Just need two more of these. Gosh darn it. Why did the buzzing stop? Oh, there. <laughs> that was weird. Alright, two speed upgrades. Perfect. Let's put this down. Uh, give it an advanced. Perfect. Simulation. Put those two in. And I can't do that. Cool. Uh, maybe I should grab some bee cages. There we go. Awesome. Uh, productivity high. Normal, 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 high. I like that. Uh, I realized that the productivity is something that actually matters, and hopefully we can uh, get more of them, but we shall see. Now experience bees. Um, experience bees. These require what to, to make stuff? A bookshelf. Easy. I have a ton. Are you, are you gonna go? Yeah, you're going. Perfect. Now we're just gonna need a drawer. Because we're about to get some knowledge from these bees. Let's grab linking tool. Configuration tool. Let's also put some stuff away. I'll grab stuff that I need again later. I'm gonna put those away. That's fine. Alright. Are you producing? You are. Are you... Are you kidding me? That was sad. Uh, time in a bottle. Uh, 
Unregistered sad face. What do you mean by re unregistered sad face? What? Do I need a... Do I need a fluid? Unregistered sad face. What do you mean unregistered sad face? What's going on here? I thought the experience bees would do. Oh, I need. I need more pipe. Universal pipe. Nice. Nice. Uh, pop that down. Is it not? <laughs> I th thought these... No. Bottler. No, I have to feed the glass bottles, really? I was hoping to avoid that. Okay. Um, what's the recipe for a glass bottle? I wanted to get this all set up and then, like, pause, come back. Can I get it from a... Oh, I can get it from a beekeeper. <gasps> you! Uh, Emerald. What is your thing? Is it the advanced beehive? So if it is... Uh, beehive... Well, is it this? No? Is it advanced? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, can I have another one then? Thank you. Excellent. Okay, let's make that bottler then. Bottler, easy enough. Does this require energy? Probably. Um, we're gonna put it here. It doesn't require energy. Yes. I do have universal cables, that's fine. So you're gonna go here, like so. And then here, like so. So you're gonna have unregistered sad face inside of you. You're gonna give me glass bottles, which will be fine. And that's gonna go in here. Perfect. And then you're going to be locked and like that. Perfect. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. And then you over here, you should have a ton of emeralds. You don't have a ton of emeralds. Oh, that's because you're going through emeralds. They're not producing emeralds fast enough. Why are you out of wheat? What's going on there? Weird. Jesus. Just going up? Okay. Um, why are you out of wheat? That's confusing. 
And you're just... Okay, let's make another auto trader then. Uh, auto trader. Put it right there. Uh, make a composter. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. Come over here to this guy. Is there... Oh, there's already a farmer here. I've got so many farmers. What's going on? Potatoes? Deal? No, no, no. You're already coming with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy villager noise. Happy villager noise. Put that in. Put that in. Hey, bud. Potatoes. I need an exporter. Oh, man. This is a little laggy, but... I have all my stacks of mana seal I need. And, uh... It was like a pool and a half of mana. <laughs> but now... We can go up to here and just drop all that in. And that should. Uh, let's do this, see if it goes up. Yeah, oh, yeah, it does. And there we go. We have all of our elementium. If we head over here, we have 64 pink slime. Perfect. That means we just need two more stacks of each of those. Pop those in. I honestly don't know why I'm like showing the progress of this. I think you guys would be way more interested in like, I don't know, power stuff, <laughs> mechanism, progression, that sort of stuff. Let's see, 56, that's empty. That has a bunch more in it. Uh, hey, bud. Oh, you, I can trade for more emeralds. I don't have any. That's a shame. Um, I can do honey treats over. Or, uh, I mean, that's about it. Um... What are you doing for trade, sir? Mm. Maybe I just get another farmer that I do manually for potatoes. A farmer, Mr. Farmer. I need you to be potatoes and wheat just because. Can you be potatoes and wheat for me? Please. I'll pay you. Real money. Emeralds. You want emeralds? Potatoes and wheat, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potatoes and wheat. Come on. Come on. I know you've got the trade available. Come on. Come on, bud. Oh, damn it. I skipped it twice. I... Uh, <laughs> potato. Wheat. I didn't grab potatoes. Potato. Thank you. Hey, sir. 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 Come here. Come here. Sir, let me. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you for your service. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. I'm putting you in a box. You live in here now. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. That should be enough emeralds for the time being. Let's go ahead, grab some more bottles. I think I just need this many more. Should be fine. 
And it's not quite like automated the way you would want it to be, but I mean, it's it's there. Uh, so let's go ahead, submit the pink slime that we got. Submit the elementium. Grab a stack of you, and we can make some insight for Chris. Oh, we need emeralds! No, <laughs> no. Alright, well, we at least have... Well, uh, let's put these back. I didn't need to take them out. We at least have this done. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Submit. Cool. What other quest did I complete? Oh, the bottler. Yeah. Um, cool. So let's put these away. And, uh... You know what? Uh, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. So because this 512 is gonna be difficult, I'm gonna need to pull lots of bottle enchantments and emeralds, which I am struggling with. I have decided... We are going to go ahead, go to this monster hunt, no, uh, mob farming, and we're going to do the deep learner. Because I have a zombie data module, and we're going to use that for zombie flesh, which we'll use for clerics to get emeralds, and also for bottles of enchanting. So, let's go ahead, get one of these guys, and this also can go into our curio slots here. Boom. And there should be a keybind for it as well, but I'll look into that in a little bit. Um, so that gives us a model framework. Um, this, I can right click an entity and it'll create a data module like the zombie one. Um, Place it in the deep learner, start killing mobs over time, the tier and data module will increase and will become more usable. However, we're just going to skip straight over to that. Simulation chamber, one of the main blocks in the deep mod learning. Uh, put your data module in here and add in the prediction matrix. Depending on the stats of your, on your data module, you have a certain chance to obtain various predictions. Uh, so, simulation chamber, let's get that. Uh, in place and let's make one of these I need a comparator easy enough oh my god maybe not nope oh, one of these things one of these things comparator There. Deep, or sorry, simulation chamber. Now let's go ahead, put this a little loud, but oh well. Let's put this right here. We're then going to make an exporter, which I have done a ton of. Um, make an exporter, that is. Let's just make 12 of these for now. I keep having to come back and forth and make a bunch. Uh, let's see, we can make a construction core though. That's done. Uh, exporter. Uh, that away. Let's see, so let's export you into there. Also, why didn't you go? There we go. Cool. Please insert a data module. Let's put in the zombie. Insufficient data in model. Please insert a basic model or better. <gasps> no. You're kidding. Is that seriously what I'm going to have to do? Dang it. Uh, it will give us 32 prediction matrices, though. And then it'll want us to generate 
32 generalized overworld predictions. Um, bound to overworld monsters will result in overworld predictions. These can be used to craft various overworld resources like gunpowder, rotten flesh, and arrows. Uh, each mob has its own special mob prediction. These are specialized drops that can be converted into a specific mob drop inside the loot fabricator. And then the loot fabricator will take those specialized ones and will turn it into the atomy that you wanted. Um, let's see. I wish I could... I... I'm doing this because I want spider eyes. Um, because I'm pretty sure spider eyes. No, I'm just gonna need a dark room. Hmm. That's a shame. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. That's loud. I feel like I should just. Get this set up later. Oh, you're a white white white. Um, find some zombies to kill. Find some zombies, spiders to kill. Let's go ahead and put this in here for now. Mm. And get that built up. And I'm gonna get the clerics uh, running. Just get some emeralds going. Huh. I should be good, but I don't know. One of the other things I'm looking uh, into doing is... The converter from easy villagers. Uh, because this, I need the potion's weakness, but need for my spider eyes, which needs spider eyes. Which, yeah, I'm gonna have to try to get the um, the one more spider. Yeah, literally one more spider. And I get this data module, which is faulty, unfortunately. But I'll get it, and then I can kill six more. La di da. Yeah, it should be good. But uh, yeah, no, this was a more of a chill episode of me just collecting the stuff I need to submit. Didn't mean for it to be as chill as it was, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Uh, literally all I need is just, just the 512 insightful crystals. What? How did... Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and let these cook. And I will be back once it is, uh, once... I'm bad with words right now. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> this episode's taking a lot out of me. I will be back after I have got my cleric set up, after I've found a way to kill these mobs, and get submit the insect crystals right away next episode, and move straight into this one, which seems like it could be fun. Uh, seems like I already have most of this done, actually. What's the next one? Oh my god, I could do this one kind of easily. How do I get this? Any rare items? Okay. And that's just from... I have to find them and loot them, or I have to... What is the superior one? Does the superior one just... Oh no, it's making sockets. Okay. How am I supposed to get that many of these? Am I just supposed to have been looting? 
luminous crystal shards. But I have six. Huh. huh. Maybe I really do need to get a mob farm going. Or these apotheosis uh, boss spawners need to actually be spawning things, right? Sad. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.